Hey, we're looking at RX Java for fuel. Now the first thing you do is go to the fuel GitHub repo and get the dependency for RX Java, which is here. Put it into your Gradle. Right here. Uh, I have 1.9.0. You should also have JSON and Android because I'm going to be covering a little bit of JSON with that. Now the the one of the benefits of Arc Java is we can call it from a function instead of in the um, where we want to do do the whole operation as of right here. Um, we're going to be doing that. So we're going to be returning a we're going to be doing the, the exact same thing except with a string and then we're going to do with JSON with an object. So we need HTTP get and we now instead of response string we're going to do rx response string now we need to figure out what we need to subscribe it with i'm i'm going to do um io and we need our return type a single pair. Now we can see that a single pair response and a result. So we're going to tailor that. Okay, there we go. Did a little error there for some reason, but um, uh, we have response and then we have a result, and we want the result, I and mean, we want the string. What we have to do is we have to call get JSON from internet. We are going to subscribe to it, and we see we have two arguments. Um. We want this as we're going to get both of the response and then the quest out of this. There we go. Now we need a question mark here for no safety. Now um, I mean, we, we want our JSON, so we have to get the request dot need the component one because we, we can see we, we got the request. I mean the let's change that to result. Result, that's correct. So we got the result is here and then we just got the component one which is string print out the JSON and we're done with that we have the JSON um, and we're just print out the JSON we're gonna get the JSON now we're gonna get the object as well it's JSON object internet the internet Okay, now the same thing, we're going to return a URL, HTTP get. This time we're doing response, um, we're doing Rx object. We need our serializable, um, deserializable. Um, go to animal and we have our, we have that here. And we want the same thing with on subscribe on with schedulers the IO. We want to change the return object 
and I would write that entire thing out, but that's way too long. Now we have our get JSON object from internet. Now we just want to subscribe onto it. And now we could see we have a response and a uh, result again. We know we only have one result. And we have two objects here. We have an array of animal. And we have a fuel object. Results here. So we have we have our JSON and then we have our error. I should put this as JSON. Okay, we have to do a for loop on that. We'll put animals. But that was a for loop. Um, now we have to do a for each. Because we have a list. We, we could see in our, our serializer that we're returning an array of animals. So we have to do a for each. I'm just going to print out the creature. Yep, and there we go. We have both printing out the string. I'll just play that. Now we both have a um, Rx object now and also a Rx response string we're scribing on. The IO thread, um, which pretty much it just does one thread. It doesn't create an entire pool of threads. Only creates one. Um, and we're also printing out our JSON and then our creature. We have our JSON here. We have creature dog, and then we have. Creatures, so we have all of these. Um, pretty much it. That's our.